Hello, happy Tuesday. Hey. Welcome to Shinobi Training with Eric and John Luke. Yes. Who have we both yeah, you beat it, mm -hmm. I beat it. Um beat it. You beat which it is good. twice. Yeah, technically. That yeah. shit ending. Don't <laughs> there's a decision you'll have to make at some point. Don't be dumb like me. Unless you want the achievement, then do it. I'll probably go make back some and do saves it or something. Although apparently um, there's four endings, so yeah, Jesus. Uh is top break good? You know what? Let's find out. Oh, it actually says. Oh, you're gonna do it. What? You're just you're just gonna do it. Second playthrough. You have yeah. no choice, huh? Do you have a save? What? No, I'm okay. I'm just gonna. You okay. Just gonna, yeah. I'll just. You do don't it. care. All okay. right. It's fine. Yeah, because you're trying to get another ending yeah. anyways, right? Okay. Here we go. All right. Let's do it. Um. Oh. Do you mind? Can we? Can we? Hmm. Record? Yeah. Well, that's uh, not gonna thing, is it? I can get one. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna shadow. Play. Yeah, yeah. Shadow play works. Yeah, Sh yeah. We'll shadow, shadow play is great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Might need this for later. Who knows? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, let's get started here. Oh, dude, you get a chance to beat the. Uh... Ah, I thought about that. Do it. Oh, just I'll try. try. You might. You're gonna I'll try. try. You're gonna try, try regardless. Yeah, yeah. You're I'm gonna, gonna try. try. I'm just yeah, like yeah. nervous just... now. That's a lot of pressure. Nah, you'll be fine. It's also a game plus. I don't know how much harder the enemies are. I don't know that's what they true. changed. That's what we're finding out. Oh ah, yes. We're gonna we're gonna learn everything that's different about new game plus. Um, oh, I also meant to change it to English. I wanted to do the English video this time around. Uh, I'll do it after. We can uh, just skip the intro, right? Like, everyone... Yeah, yeah let's just... Let's just skip it. Let's just Come skip on. It. Even though it is, like, the one of the only cinematics. It's pretty cool. I Oh, you lose all your prosthetics? Oh, damn, you do. Yeah. Damn. Well, okay, well, also in the story, I still have my arm. Yeah, so okay. Maybe, all right, oh. so you think it comes back later? Oh, you got Kuro's Charm. I got all this stuff, though. What's the Kuro's Charm? Uh, Kuro's Charm. Let's find out. Let's learn what's, what's going on. I keep my mask fragments. I kept my uh, yeah, stuff. Font, I kept yeah. all my... Uh, okay, you have all your texts. Text. I kept my prayer beads. I kept all my remnants. Oh, so many spoilers. And <laughs> you know what you're getting into. This is New Game Plus. Uh, Charm Stephen Crew, a place on the wolf's person in secret after he lost his life. Oh, it's just his resurrection? Okay, whatever. I thought yeah, it was something special. And for some reason, I thought... Uh, okay. You just... Maybe that's something you don't get the first time through. I don't know. Hold on. Whatever. I want to go to sound and switch. To don't switch to English, says Crime. <laughs> I want to I wanna hear. I've heard people on Twitter being like, hey, you should give it a shot. It's apparently pretty good. Uh, uh, I might not actually be able to do it in game, it looks nice. like. Uh, we are on That's PC. Okay. We'll, He's we'll on an Xbox One controller, for those asking. Yes. It's a PC, Xbox One controller. Um, Did I beat Dark Souls 3 as Box Knight? Yes, I did. I did not beat DLC, though. I didn't DLC's kill Swave Slaves. Was it Slave... Slave Knight... Um, Gwen? Was no, it Slave Knight um, Gwen? Slave Knight something. Slave Knight... Was it, it's with a G. G uh, Gabriel? Gale. 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 Yeah, I did not be Slave Knight Gale. I was right. close, though. And then I stopped trying for some reason. And then there's like a secret boss after that, like a dragon or something. We were playing PC. As you saw, he shadow played. <laughs> Can't shadow play on Xbox, at least not yet. Or right, show me how you don't get caught here, because at both playthroughs, I kind of just like booked it under that thing, and they saw me. But like, they don't actually do anything. No, they didn't see me at all. Oh, you know why? I kind of like skirted and ran through there. Oh, you can eavesdrop that guy? Yeah, yeah. So I've already done it, apparently. No, you're in the other dialogue. Yeah, oh, Moonlit Tower. I thought you turned it in English. No, I didn't. I, I couldn't. I think I have to do it from the main menu. Um. So I was like, ah, I won't deal with it right now. I'll do that later. All right. The outskirts, for those who know. We're going to be skipping through dialogue here. That's not... We, we already know. We already know what's up. All right. Uh, I thought we were going to see top bragging Eric PS4 account. I played on PC, too. I wish I played on PS4, because I would have definitely hard saved so many times Dude, for different things. I, I probably could have got every ending. That, that frame rate. Oof. Oh, is it not so good? Uh, it's just PC. I can't. I can't you just that. live that PC. You're that PC elitist life. Dude, the, the smooth 60. It's the so smooth. like I was watching footage and I was like, I dude, no way. No way. After this? Have you found the headless stuff useful? I like never use it. So yeah, basically Yes, the I I think it's useful. Okay. So basically if you guys didn't know there's headless in the game, mm -hmm. uh you guys can look up the fights if you want to. When you beat them, they basically give you what you would get from the sugars, right? From the yeah. different candy and that you, can you could use your eat. spirit powers and instead. You're using emblems instead of eating the candy. So you basically have the candy at all times. I actually went through the entire playthrough without using any of them. I know some are useful though. Yeah. 
Um, I didn't use a lot of things, to be honest. Like, like we found out that tip from Vadi today about the, the wealth balloon. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. That's a pretty good one. Your boy Vadi has got the hot tips. I'm going to stealth all in. You can't stealth all of it. Okay, give him a charm. Wait, isn't this new dialogue? Yeah, wait a minute. I don't remember this at you all. You skipped through all of it. I, I was like, was... you just gave him something that you didn't have the first time. Keep it in your care. Insist he take it. What happens if... I insist he take it. I don't know. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. I didn't read. I couldn't read it. <laughs> it's the charm that he gave me. Okay, yeah, but I didn't. Did you hear what he was saying? Because no, I didn't understand no. any of it. Dude, screw it, man. Let's do it. Uh, I'm going to assist he take it. Oh, you love. I think I know what this is. <laughs> I might have. I might have. You have chosen the yeah. path of further hardship. Oh I no, cannot, revive! I cannot resurrect anymore. I chose a no resurrect path. What? We're going. We're going all in, baby. Oh, no. why you do that? Yeah. Why you do that to yourself? Uh, cause for the stream. Tay. Okay. Well, if you if Kuro's charm, as we had, let me turn that down a little bit. Uh, Kuro's charm, as we had mentioned, uh, is oh, revive. Brutal. Is the revive ability so you can turn that off in your new game plus which is kind of insane But kind of makes some sense, I guess But the thing that, that game is see but I'm curious like do you get anything out of that though other than just doing the it for yourself? Satisfaction of doing it hey, Well, you did you did your character it, itself said that you enjoy suffering. So I yeah. suppose that's how you do it. Question uh, to both of you. How many times did you die to butterfly old lady? Oh, I died a lot the first uh, time butterfly a fair amount she was like a good hour for me. Yeah. Something like that. I don't know. I, I judge it by time. Because, like, you know, sometimes you kind of throw away your your first... Wow, I didn't even know you could do that. I killed the first two guys first. Or, you know. Mm, yes. All these easy folk. Feels good. I've been having to deal with some harder guys, and it's not fun. <laughs> Although, the one skill that I still suck at that I think... I implore people to get better at is Mercury countering. Yep. I still don't do a good job. I end up like just like like dodging instead of countering, but it's such a good skill that like if you master right. Oh man. Yep. Mm. There we go. Delightful. Were you the one who uploaded the tips and secret videos on GameSpot gameplay at Eric? No. Uh, well, collaboration. Mostly John Luke and Matt Espinelli were the ones who culminated a lot of that list. Um, I just tried to help. Remember to guard to lose your posture. Right. <laughs> Forgot about that. Yeah. Like one of our hot tips. It's okay. Like during uh, Apex stream, I didn't even follow one of our hot tips either. So chat called me out for it. Um, but yeah, it was John Luke and Matt, and then I just helped here and there with either some of the gameplay capture or, you know, whatever tips I get can back help. In. It's kind of a collaborative process, usually. It's been a day or two since I've played. I gotta get back in. No, it's fine. Uh, it's the warm-up sesh, you know? Exactly. Like, That's what this is all about. When you get back into it, sometimes you're just like, oh, I, what am I doing again? How does one parry? I play it on a 1050 Ti and it's super laggy for me. It looks like my laptop is messed up. Uh, 1050 Ti should be okay, but obviously oh, yeah. you're gonna have to turn down some stuff. I've been uh, super fortunate that I've been playing on a 2070 uh, on a laptop, which has looked really good. Uh, so that there's that one benefit that I guess I'm getting from playing PC and not PS4. I'm really curious how this no resurrection when is, is going to bite me in the ass. The, yeah. When is the review coming? I believe I heard maybe today. Yeah, I think we were. Is what I've, is what I've heard. I like we were don't um, hold me to that, but that's that's it's a rough estimate of what I heard. This game is hard. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. uh, it definitely is a learning experience. Even if you come from a Soulsborne game or like playing the Soulsborne games, just because it kind of breaks some of the mold from that. Um... It still has elements, obviously, but, you know. All right, man. Here we go. Oof. Oh, no revive, though. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. No, 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 Ooh. no revive. It's all right. You have three pellets. I don't think you got a revive during this uh, this part anyway. No, you didn't, technically. But, uh, <laughs> ooh, man. I, I, I assume I can't back out on that. Like, once I've done this, this is a... Uh, mm, no, it's not like, it's not like, yeah, it's not like yeah, the yeah, demon yeah, bell where you can be like, ah, I'm good. <laughs> like, nope. Maybe you can ask him again. Maybe talk to him. 
Hey, I want my charm back. Yeah, actually, can I have that? I could really... <gasps> Damn. Do you want to give me that? Okay. Maybe you'll get it after this. Maybe. Sequence? I'm okay. I mean, this is all for the stream. I probably won't do an actual... At least not I think yet. it'd be fine for the most part. I mean, like... At this point, for me, outside of like actual boss fights, the revive is more of like, do I care about losing money and or, experience? Or uh, the dragon rot. Oh, uh, yeah, that's true. Okay, dragon rot is kind of annoying. This. But dragon rot really only affects kind of um, your ability to do side quests. So, damn, that's about a lot. Dude. Yep. Okay. That's the, that's the one move I do always struggle with. Oh, nope, never mind. <laughs> Immediately died. Well, that's yeah. Okay. Well, you're probably used to the gourd, too. I am used to the gourd. So, like, the good old slow regen of a pellet. I wasn't expecting. Me to Dude, his that. his slash took off, like, 30%, though. Yeah, that was a lot. Um, that's definitely more than I remember yeah. in the original game. It's New Game Plus, so I kind of expect that. Left. Okay, so I have my prosthetic now. So do I have them all? Yeah. Okay, good. You keep everything. Did you get down the path quite a bit? I got to like level five or tier five is what he calls LD. it. But the last no, tier. probably not. That would be one thing I would say too is like if you notice that oh, you, avoid uh, additional hardships. There you go. So you so, can't turn it on and off. What happens if I? <laughs> what? A meddling woman? I think it's um, Emma. Emma, yeah, maybe. Do what you will. So do I have unlimited choices? I'm curious. So, okay, so you let him keep it then, right? Be so in this case, because you don't want to take it, right? Or are you saying that you take it and you can give it back? Yeah, can I can I do this as many times as I want? Oh, I, I, I think so. Or is My this guess like a, is, or is this a like, hey, we know you did, you regret that from the yeah. tutorial. So why I'm gonna is, take it back? God, okay, why is your... this decision cannot be undone? Oh, or should you want to take back the charm and avoid the path of additional hardship? Dang. This is New Game Plus God of War, so he has all the like vitality right. and posture he gained from um, the first playthrough. So his that's why his health bar is so big. However, if you notice when he was fighting Genichiro, like all of Genichiro's damage was like way higher than you would it would be the first time you fought him. So. so I can, it do? looks like I can still... You can cancel out of it. So you can make that decision later. So I think it basically gives you one, like, like hey, I chance. regret this. I okay. want it back. But I think it only lets you do it once. Okay, so are you going to probably try playing without it? And Let's then try maybe playing without it. Come and back to it if you need it's it. It's being a thing. We'll, okay. we'll come back. But that seems to be, like, they give you one free, like, hey, you regret this. Yeah. No worries. Philanthropy, or a.k.a. Ben Jenka, is saying, I wonder if this is also, like, a hard mode, it, like, the hard mode in general, because that dude hit you super hard compared to the first playthrough fight. Oh, yeah. definitely, yeah. Like, New Game Plus, that's your show. Souls game oh, you right. haven't unlocked it yet. But, yeah, as you unlock more skills, that tree will open up. And oh, yeah, that's the one. I, I never just got need all the to like... to Oh, missed, you didn't? I think I missed one. Oh. Well, then, sounds like a guide, John Luke. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have them all. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. We were talking about that in yeah. the, uh, the meeting. Maybe d Difficulty definitely goes up in New Game Plus. There's, oh, for sure. There's no doubt about that. There's um, no way it doesn't. There's an item behind the house. Oh, there is. Okay. Yeah. But I think it's like a light coin purse or something. Oh, okay. oh, you know what I never did? You told me to go back to Hanabi late game, and I never did that. So I guess I should do that. Yeah. Do you want to know what it is? Some people speculate that you can actually kill him. No. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, which yeah, makes yeah. sense. Yeah. So, I mean, hey, everyone here in the chat, you're here because we're <laughs> going to be free to talk about Maybe new game plus stuff, but uh, yeah, I mean, like we won't go into like yeah. maybe ending spoiler stuff, but Basically, we'll probably be loosely talking about. You eventually get a ability to kill him, and then he's like, "Oh, you can kill me," and then you can kill him, and then you get an item for it. Yeah, big grand two K. Have you beaten all the bosses? I have beaten all the bosses that I know of, except for one, and one is tied to an ending which Jean Luc is going to try to get. So like. There's multiple yeah. endings, as you could imagine, um, with the From Software game. And in some cases, uh, each ending, I think three out of the four, as John Luke had mentioned, to my knowledge, have different bosses. So um, I have technically only not fought one that I know of, which is the one you are going to try to get this playthrough, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. the last boss of this specific ending that you're going to try to do is different than the other endings. Also, yes. have you ever gotten anything in the box before in the offering no. thing? I've never, I don't think nope. I've ever gotten one either. I've never found anything in that box. And I've checked multiple Will there be added there. content as Taylor? I have no idea. Like, it wouldn't shock me if they did DLC, but I have heard nothing. I mean, nothing. that's a very from software thing to yeah. do. I have heard nothing. Uh, if they do surprised. do DLC, I would prefer them not to do two small ones. I'd rather have an old hunter-sized, just like one proper, I'll give you I the prefer. 40 bucks, just give me the proper DLC. That would be sick, actually. I would 
I don't know. I have a very love-hate relationship with this game, though. I have said multiple times that I love Bloodborne. Well, I can't say I love Bloodborne more than this, but I like Bloodborne just overall more than this game. I love this game. I think this game's cool. Is this your number one now? I don't Past know. Bloodborne? That's, that's tough. Bloodborne is really high up there for okay. me. Um, but I really like the way this plays. Okay. Like a whole, whole lot. I, I, I don't know. I just... Something something about Bloodborne for me was just... Look at that. Yeah, this was a great yeah. first shot. Yeah. They definitely have a couple very just like... Beautiful. Wallpapery like... Oh, here yeah. you go. Let me just stop and soak up the, the scenes here. That atmosphere. Does everything carry over 100% on New Game Plus? Noctis, it does look like that. The prayer beads that he had transferred over, his prosthetics transferred power. over, his prayer beads that he had accumulated prior yep. carried over. So I wonder if you can um, get more prayer beads. Like, does that double? Like, I would assume work? you've we'll, got to be we'll, able to we'll get some out. more, We'll find out. We're going right? to go find a mini boss that has yeah. the first prayer bead. Uh, I think the only thing that ha Oh, no, my Gord Seeds crossed yeah, over as I well. I saw those earlier. They're just grayed out because they're like, oh, you can't use them yet. But I'm assuming you can't get more. I think 10 is the max. But yes. it, this is a uh, New Game is Plus is max. a chance for you to get any seeds that you missed. Miss. If you did miss them, John Luke actually put up a guide yesterday for the nine gourd seeds. So, you know, some are pretty straightforward, some aren't. I missed one uh, that somehow I got the my first playthrough, but my first playthrough, I'm it's there if you need it. <laughs> Long story short. Ooh, have a ceramic shard. Did you ever use that stuff? I never used the ceramic no. shards or the fistful of ash. Oh, the ash I use, the ash I use. Okay. Um, ash works against bosses. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Does it like disorient them? Yeah, they like, it like, and then you can get behind them and do some hits. Oh my god. I fight like an honorable shinobi. Actually, shinobi's not Dude, really shinobis honorable. Are they do whatever the hell man. they want. They do pocket whatever the hell they want. It's all about yeah. the oh sand. my god. Yeah, that guy uh, did some hits. Dude, that took off half life. Oh, wow, got you there. got the lucky. Dang, the damage is real, man. Yeah, this damage does not. At GameSpot, you had the Blood Cloud skills. Around. Show it, please, if you can. Uh, he's got to have it. The Blood you, Cloud? You beat a bo yeah, it's yeah, already I equipped. Got, I got it. Blood Smoke? Yeah, yeah Blood Smoke. I, I bet you you're missing one ninjutsu. Oh, probably. Yeah. I didn't really get did all you, those. Um, beat the... Fight the... Well, you did fight them. What? Right? The twins? The the, the two of them? I did. Them? I didn't beat them. Oh, uh, okay. I didn't realize that was a you know, like husband and wife, by the way. Oh, okay. Is what I oh, was that told. makes sense. That, that makes sense, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then that's where I'll stop for that one for you guys. That's a side boss that I was talking about, apparently. That's like a side boss. There's like two that I know of. There are like two side boss. Well, kind of three, kind of. Eh. All right, let's see here what we got. A lot of people can beat Sekiro but cannot beat Bloodborne. Oh. Uh, Interesting. Is that just like something you're... Where is the uh, this information coming from, Noctis? Okay. I could see why Sekiro could be harder, though, only because sometimes to defeat some of these bosses, it's about your ability to deflect and parry, which obviously wasn't in Bloodborne. In Bloodborne, it was a lot of, like, dodging, doing damage. Um, so I could see that in some ways. How long was your first playthrough? Uh, 43 hours. Damn, 43? Uh, it took me about eight hours to beat the final boss. I, it took me six. Uh, I think my well okay so it's not fair actually to you to for me to say that one because you my playthrough you, you second time skipped through really quickly you ran through stuff you were telling me how you you were like speeding through the second half of the game your first playthrough uh yeah my first playthrough yeah, yeah I yeah. took my time I, yeah, 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 I did yeah yeah everything so so if it's hard for me to give you a true number because my first playthrough I got the short ending which skips a lot that's yeah. why I said don't pick the the choice I did other the other than for the achievement um. Basically, you lose out on an entire area. I'll just say that. That's not too spoilery, no, I think. I don't think um, basically, spoilery. I'm trying to save you uh, from hurting yourself like I did. Anyways, I the second time around, I was able to do things faster. And so my second playthrough, I feel like I'm at 33-ish hours, and I've done most stuff in the second playthrough. However, because I had knowledge of like 70% of the game or 80% of the game, I went through a lot of that stuff quicker. Um... And so I couldn't really tell you, outside of like my actual first experience, how long it was. Um, it like, my first playthrough was really fast. It was like 22 hours or something like that. But that's because I ran through a lot of stuff in, in like trouble. And then I also did the short ending, which again, skips an area, which that area is pretty substantial. And it's probably another like five hours 
if not more. I don't know. What do you think? Last area? Oh, yeah. Maybe five hours? Oh, yeah. Oh, actually, you know what? It's not even just the last area because there's more after that. Yeah, there's more way. after that. There's multiple boss fights. They yeah. Add. Like, it's it's substantial. So I'm going to guess like five to seven there. Yeah, so I don't know. I think it's like a like a 35 plus hour game depending so. on how like what you do. And it could be as short as like, well, people are speed running it now, obviously. But like, this game is your first playthrough. Variations to it that are pretty insane. Like, I already am in my brain, like, okay, like, if I was to try and speed run it, mm -hmm. like, I, to just to get to an ending, like, you could skip that, 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 that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like to get to the, the, the fastest speed run ending would be like what I did, which is like, you just cut your game short. You don't do that entire last area. You don't even like get all the stuff that, like, Basically, you're going to eventually get stuff for, you know, your master, and that takes you down different paths. Like, you don't even have to get um, all that stuff if you don't want to. Also, uh, for those that don't know, I'm going to have John Luke show you where the freaking first fire... Oh! oh wow! Where Damn. the first firecracker is. Um, that guy just did 70%. Holy shit. New Game Plus ain't messing around. Oh! Okay. Oh, you got all your revives! What the hell? Okay. So do you get an extra revive? Maybe it's an extra one. Maybe they're yeah. like, you know what? We're going to give you an extra so, revive because it's so hard. I don't know. Maybe it's something different then. Really? Or or maybe you turn on hard mode. Shit. Yeah, maybe it's just like the game's tougher. Yeah. Maybe I just made Maybe the game you harder. just ramped up the difficulty. Maybe this maybe. is like the equivalent of the Demon Bell. Like what mm. if you did Demon Bell plus that? What you're going through right now. We could try it. <laughs> anyway. Wow. Yikes, that was rough. Uh, no, so I totally, it's not resurrection based. It, I think it's just. I think you turn on, well, what's whatever that bottom left icon is. I don't, Dude, know, what I don't know what that means. That's it's problem. probably like, do you want to take more damage? It's probably just like, hey, this game is way harder. Yeah. I bet that's what it is. Raphael sells is to use the axe. On him? I axe didn't. On. Is it good against him? Eh, it's I have okay. no idea. It, it does some damage. So maybe it just makes the game extra hard? Question mark? I maybe. don't know. Like that's crazy. I gotta send this to Sekiro Slack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm wondering if that's just like it makes it harder. I assumed it. was... I think harder. I, I, I assumed, thought it was resurrection. I assumed it was a, like I a really new resurrection, it was resurrection thing because I was like, that seems like the kind of bullshit you would like people would want to do. Like I want to do a no resurrection run, uh, but I guess not. Yeah, I'll try the axe. Anyway, damn, that guy just obliterated me. Yeah, the little follow-up. Ooh, I just uh, unlocked that level four ability. I want to mess around with that. Okay, it's all right. The trade, the trade. Mm. Trades are not as, as valuable in this game as uh, they are in- Yeah, that's true. Like Dark Souls. Well, at least he didn't one. stuff you. <laughs> oh my god. You're taking damage on top of the deflect. Wait, really? Yes. Shit. Alright. Here, I'm gonna watch again. Yeah, you're taking damage oh. on non perfect deflects. What? Yeah, on blocks, you're oh, taking damage. Oh my god. Alright. So basically, if I, did, I think you don't perfect parry, you're just eating damage. Damn. Yep. Yeah, okay, see, on your perfect parry there, you did not take damage. But on those other moves that... Oh, don't let him do that. Okay, good. Nice. I'm just staring at his uh, health bar right now, guys. Nice. I should have done the jump. Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> Safety first. Uh, oh, you want the little, little back? Flare, one? You want a little flare. flare? Did you, have you seen that when you do, like, the different other executions? There's, like, different... Kind of yeah, execution yeah. styles like the, the, the jumping one's sick. If you do sick. From the jump where you like spin him around, dude, he does like a hurricane rata. Uh, the Makiri counter one's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I like doing that one. Damn, already on new game plus a lot of damage. Uh, yeah, Mario Man. I did not get any prayer beads from him. Yeah. Okay. So you do not get extra prayer beads. I so think. you think there's a finite amount then? I think there are. Okay. I Interesting. Think, I think there's a finite amount. Interesting. Um, or at least you don't get like the same. Ones, I imagine the ones. Like, yeah, I the ones you're missing. Okay, so like you're there. not gaining more life, which is interesting because like in Souls games uh, and even Bloodborne, right? Like you could keep leveling, right? It's possible they maybe add new 
prayer beads in other spots, but uh, at least like the ones that were that one that was there in the original mm. one, do not have anymore. Uh, yeah, dude, this again. is insane though. That blocks um, that if you don't deflect properly in this, what we're, we're gonna call as ultra hard mode, even though I'm yeah. just making that term up. Um, it actually does damage, which is nutty because that means like certain bosses like. Most people have seen Genichiro probably at this point, or like oh, know about dude, him. Like he does like rough. one where he does like a, a a flurry of attacks, like six attacks or something like that. Which means if you don't actually, that makes a lot of sense to in my mind because I always felt like, and even in some cases for myself, I I kind of like know that I can kind of spam it a little bit in some cases, right? Because you're not worried about perfectly deflecting all of them. You're just hoping that you have some rhythm to it um, where you can deflect it. And that you deflect most of them, right? But now, if you're gonna take damage, yikes! But it sounds like you can might you probably can turn it off, too. So if you don't want this experience, uh, don't do it. It seems like you're given the option to turn it on at the beginning. Yeah, the then, very beginning. And then it gives you the option to turn it off. Once you turn it off, you can't turn it back on though. So I think yeah. it's like. But I'm curious if if I didn't turn it on in the first place, did that guy give me a chance to turn it off? Well, I don't know. Hmm. But it seems like they give you an out yeah. if you regret it. What up? There are way too many dudes here. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Yep. One. Oh, you know what? I've been wa watching on these guys. If blocking gives you damage, I don't know. Can you block one? Sure, sure. Yep. yep. Holy smokes! Even the normal enemies, Yikaroos. They're parry. Uh, they're um. They're seems a lot higher, higher too. Well, I would say. I I would have to like go back and compare, but I definitely feels like it's. When will Hob do a zero hit run? Ah, uh, who knows, Max Veltus? It it. You never know. Like, oh, it could I'm, happen. A zero hit run will definitely happen. I mean, there's that guy who just did the. Uh, you know what? I don't want to deal with this guy normally. Um, there's a guy who just did the all five games in a row. Yeah, that's Hob. Hob, yeah. Yeah, that's right, Hob. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I'm sure he'll do one eventually. Like oh, normal, sure. I think if he gets the timing right for like just like your first playthrough, it. I think he could do it. Um, I wasn't. That sucks. I thought he had. Um, do one. you? No hit. Oh, you know what? This game would actually be significantly harder to do a no hit. Really? I, I well, I feel like in some cases, yes, because you have to deflect a lot more attacks, right? You do. Than you do in other games because it's posture based. Yeah. So the risk is the risk there. is higher. Yeah, yeah. Rather, um, in, instead of like in in the in the other Soulsborne games, you can kind of like you know dodge a lot of the attacks and then kind of like get your damage in. I, you could technically still do that uh, against most bosses. There are some bosses where they're just built on the de on the deflect mechanic. So you can't um, just do that. This is Sucky Row hard mode. <laughs> we got suckered. Sh Sucky Row shadows die thrice. Well, I mean, technically we can die three times in certain cases, I depending can, on yeah. how you look depending at it. Depending on how you look at yeah. it. Yeah. Like, you can die in three phases. <laughs> um, okay, that seems to be all right. Wrong. So if you guys didn't know, and most people probably didn't on your first playthrough because every one of us missed this vendor. We're gonna show you one of the most important vendors in this <laughs> early game. You don't, um, you cannot, uh, I cannot undersell how much the firecrackers help you in this early part of the game. And there is a vendor you can buy them from that will help you on multiple like mini bosses here. Uh, before you could actually, where I actually thought you could buy it, which so, is after Gyobu. I actually don't know where he is, so you'll have to. Oh, show okay, me. I'll show it to you. It's it's um a little bit right before the um the cannon guy oh, okay. coming up here. Cool, cool, cool. Sekiro shadows that a lot. This is true. Oh, this is the cannon guy. Okay, so look to your left. So go up there. Now jump back. Yep, jump back that way. Uh, get up to that and then uh, get up to that next little ledge up here and then look up to your right now go up there and that is this is where Hello. Hello. there is your first merchant and the firecrackers 
Dang. Like, this, it, like the firecracker. Well, he's not selling it. Or oh, there you go. It, See, here, it would be here if I. Uh, uh, this is a game changer. Shit. You must buy the firecrackers. I went through my entire first playthrough without even having the firecrackers. Oh, he sells a lot of stuff. Though. I was a fool. Cool. Um, firecrackers are really good. They work against bosses. They work against enemies. They they just in general buy you time. I have started using it to heal, <laughs> at some points. What does shadows die twice even mean? Uh, you're a shadow, and you can die more than once. Because you can come back to life. <laughs> yep. That's the idea. Okay, let me... Oh, are you going to ledge him? I got him last time. No, yeah, yeah. You can definitely get him. I, I was just wondering if you're going to do the oh, different execution. Do the that one's pretty cool, too, because he stabs you from the front and just, like, tosses you off the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, let's see. Hello there, sir. English voice acting. There is full English audio, is. but um, I would never do it. If I had the option, Apparently I would Japanese it's, it's pretty good, but language I, everything. So I kind of want to try it out. Well, do you want to? You can. Well, I think Maybe I, next save point, I you just go to the main out, menu. Yeah. That's not that hard. You just go to options and then quit out and come back in. You, you see an Activision you know, logo? Yeah. See, now he's, he's seeing. Now he's beginning to believe. <laughs> That's the thing is, uh, when we were doing that guide, cutting the guide, mm -hmm. I was trying to. I only showed footage from sort of the early parts of the yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's when you were learning, anyone. right? But that's when I was learning. So it's like all the tips we had. I was like, man, I like I suck though. Like none yeah, of this yeah, is yeah. good footage. I know, I know the feeling. You feel uh, well because you don't know what exactly. You don't have the muscle memory for it. Yet. You yeah. don't know half. Like a lot of these games, the first time is like trying to understand enemy types, move mechanics. What's safe, totally. what's not safe. And so you play end up playing like super cautious. And if you think about it, on top of all of that, like the game is just different. Oh, like yeah. fundamentally. And it so is. like all the things you thought you knew, like nope. <laughs> like I wouldn't say all, but a lot of the stuff you thought you knew and like could just apply, they don't mostly work. Some stuff works, for sure, but not not everything. I didn't even go this way. I kinda remember this path, but I, I definitely did not go this way. Is that the idol? It's like right above here? Yeah, I think it's right here. Or what? Yeah, there right it is. There. Nailed it. So yeah, just get all around those people. No battle royale, not good enough. Right. Oh man, so am I, gonna, am I gonna go after the... Mario Manus says, I kind of like the English voice. It's not bad, but I don't all like to always pay attention to the subtitles. That's fair. Um, yeah, sh so should I switch? Their area, lots of secrets to this game. Yeah, there's a lot of secrets, Leslie. There's um, a bunch of stuff uh, to be discovered. There's a lot of side mini bosses that you can fight. Like I had mentioned the Headless earlier. There's five of them mm -hmm. that I know of, and each one gives you a different one of those candies to permanently use with um, your sh your emblems, spirit emblems, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, you have to go to language. There's a specific setting. So let's switch it to English. Okay. I'm not playing with English view. Damn, could you imagine, like, turning this on and then, like, thinking, like, I don't need the... I, I, I'm glad they gave you a second out, but could you imagine, like, not being able to turn it off and going, like, this is too hard. I yeah. guess I'll start another save? Save. <laughs> I, think the, I think that's why they gave you the out. It's like, oh, eh, look, we know. They dodged the Tengu yet? What? What does that even mean, Bob? Okay. There you are. 
What's up, dude? All right. Uh, mm, no. Okay. I'm gonna draw them over here, and then I'll. Oh, maybe I can do it. Still. Oh, I didn't even see you uncage him. I've been like talking in this <laughs> chat. Yeah, I uncaged here. him, killed the other guy, then hid. So Sick. That I could, uh... Get the free backy stab. All right, let's see if I can. I think that. Oh, you can flame vent him, even though. I prefer the fire it, Yeah. It's, it's the same. Well, you get burned yet. Oh. Yikes, yikes, yikes. The people's elbow. Hello. What's I'm going to guess, guess that the grab and the head smash is like an insta. Oh, probably. I would assume that. Those are instant. Yeah, we'll find out. No, you're dead, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. You're 100% yeah. dead. That's 100% dead. <laughs> Turbo dead, they, some would say. All right. Oh, he was about to do it again. Yeah. I've found that sticking close to him is better because you can s dodge that and then dodge his like short grab oh great block actually well did you actually deflect that yeah because he didn't take damage. didn't take damage it just looked, it looked like weird, you didn't yeah. like fully parry it or whatever you want to call it yeah suck it you can even uh grab that stupid thing tug on his uh whatever the hell that thing is like a wooden plank nice i like it Oh, yep. Hello there. Yep. He just wants hugs. He just likes giving hugs. Yeah. Oh, you know what? You uh, whatever. I'm not gonna even entertain the idea right now. Oh, all the people's up. Yikes. Elbow. Sweet justice. Play it safe here. Yeah, you're good. Yep. So this guy was a real pain in the ass the first time. Now he's a joke. Yeah. But you know. <laughs> That's that's kind of the case in in most of the time when you're playing. Uh, these the second time around. Eh. Although there's way less room for error. On, uh, that's the, true. The way I'm on on it. the uh, <laughs> new game plus full hard. suffrage <laughs> mode. I like to suffer. What can I say? So uh, that's gonna be the updated version. Sekiro, Is this like, like Ninja Gaiden? Uh, it's more like, like Tenchu. It's like Tenchu. It's more like Tenchu. New Game right. Plus already? Damn, you waste no time. Uh, he... Well, okay. To preface this, we were lucky. We had the game early. Sure. So it helps us kind of get through the game faster. Um, I don't even know what that door does. Uh, that's the that's the door that you can open uh, from the Demon Bell side. You okay. can go up there. So this is where the Gourd Seed would be. I'm wondering what's here instead. The Divine, Divine Grass. Grass. I didn't really use those, but those give you 100% HP back, I think, if I read that correctly. Oh, this guy's tough. Oh, uh, yeah, he's a piece of... Well, you could clear out everything yeah, that's and then come back. Yeah, that's kind of the way back. to do it. Is you yeah. just sort of clear out everything. And there's like a... There's a there's the idol down there if you just want to run down there. Too. Yeah. I want to try and beat him, though. Oh, no, no, no. I know. I'm just saying you could run down there to get the idol and then makes it easier to stealth kill a lot of these yeah, guys from he, down he's there. He's a boss you can ignore. You don't have to fight him. I woke him up many times like on our on the stream and I was like, dude, how? Oh, you forgot about the, the, the pot guy yeah, whose job is only to alert to everyone. And it's very annoying. Yikes. Oh, the explosive flying ninja. Yeah. That guy is just has a battle cry, and you're like, what the hell happened? <laughs> There's been a lot of good memes about that guy. Um, he just comes out of nowhere because so, he's on a shinobi kite. So what happened? I didn't even see the kite. Like, I see a lot of people, like, see him coming. Yeah, I never saw I him I was coming, just dude. running, and then all of a sudden I just got slammed from behind. He just, you just hear him go, yeah, and then like you just come like a dive bomber all of a sudden, and you just what? <laughs> uh, CBA Piaz says I think New Game Plus will be a cakewalk with all the tools. Um, if you don't want it to be a cakewalk, turn on this super hard mode or whatever the hell this is, yeah, where I feel like it's worse than the Demon Bell because I, I, if you just join the stream, like watch when he fights this warlord. I'm oh, it's probably I'm gonna warlord. guess that. John Luke gets hit once, and you're gonna see just how much damage you take with that uh, this mode on. I don't even know what to call it. I just look at the bottom left icon; you can see it. Uh, in the in the beginning of the game, Kuro gave us a charm. Um, we gave it back to him. Uh, luckily, the game decides to give you one more chance. Like, hey, do you are you really sure you want to like suffer charm, and yeah. like put yourself through this? And um, so at least you have a way out if you don't want to experience this because everything seems to hurt way more. I don't know 
we'll find out later maybe but like even when you don't parry correctly and you're blocking blocking you soak damage as well um and so it made it exponentially harder uh we thought it was a revive thing but it's not um so i think it's just difficulty i think it's just scaling the difficulty way higher like even this grunt his posture is not breaking normally four hits five hits maybe in normal he would probably already have been dunzo uh ready to stagger He's almost like smarter AI. It's yeah. almost, you know what it kind of reminds me of without the leveling up is God of War super hard mode where um, the enemies will get smarter and stronger. Right. Kind of. Is this more difficult than Dark Souls? Um, ugh. I mean, so Dark Souls proper or like I mean, the lot, later, it, like the more it, recent it's games? It's all really a matter of perspective is yeah. sort of what I've realized as I see people who play Dark Souls and I'm like, dang, this game's like definitely from software's hardest yeah. game. I've seen other people who are like, oh, I... I no problem. Know, no problem. Right? Or like, I've, you know, not a huge Dark Souls fan, but I was yeah. able to figure this game out. Um, so to each their just, own, probably. Yeah. Difficulty is always in the... Uh, in, like, your mileage may vary. I mean, it's it's the same thing as when you talk about a Bloodborne boss with someone and you're like, oh, I, that one, that guy was easy. But then they're super hard for you. But then you have someone that you fight that's super easy for you. That's exactly. hard for someone else. So I think it's all like relative. Um, does this game less class variety? I mean, there's a lot of skills. And I think yeah. that's where the variety comes from. Yeah. I haven't even incorporated a lot of those skills into my attacks and stuff left. So... How long is gameplay, says Trevor Two? I think it's a 35 plus hour game. It could be 40 plus or more than 40 plus, depending on if you do everything. Because even John Luke, who, you know, was very careful, he combed through everything, um, and he he had just beaten the game. He still took oh, oh, one hit. One shot. Damn. Do you resurrect? Yeah, you resurrect. There's so for those of you that don't know about Dragon Rod or are curious about Dragon Rod, it matter it, it happens on revive or resurrect so it doesn't matter you're better off almost no. always resurrect so no? Va vati claims it only happens on permanent deaths and resurrect oh. is not counting no that, that's, that's that what can't he, be that's what vati that said can't be true i well, i'm saying we should try and figure oh, that out also i immediately died Jesus. okay yeah, okay you know why i say that yeah because i my first playthrough i was telling everyone in the office i was like i'm not gonna resurrect i'm yeah. gonna go through this game because i thought resurrect was the mechanic that was tied to dragon rot right like if you resurrect the dragon rot would happen sooner quicker etc right sure. and so i would i would uh left bumper die right mm -hmm. and so does that count as a permanent death no no no, no, no. it's the opposite it, it's right bumper dying is a permanent death no, Res left, right, 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 right bumper or left is, bumper die. Yeah, yeah, left bumper or die left is, bumper a dying is a permanent death. death, and that will get you dragon rot. If you only resurrect but never die and have to go back okay. to a point, you'll never get dragon rot. Okay, gotcha. So it's just actual death. Yeah, like actual permanent death. death. Okay, permanent death. Then yeah. that makes sense. Then that is that is correct. Because I was gonna say like I was trying to not resurrect, whereas you should be resurrecting. You should be resurrecting because it doesn't. Are you sure Resurrect doesn't spread Dragon Rot though? Uh, that's what Vati said, and, but I believe it because also the only time you get the Resurrect, uh, you get the Dragon Rot, is when you like, die is after. When you die after. Yeah. Back, okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 So okay. So if you never die, like that's so weird though to me, because you would think the Resurrection mechanic would have a negative effect. It should have a negative effect in my mind, because like you're basically cheating death, All right? Or you've technically died already. Can you finish the game skipping some bosses? Yes, you can skip oh, totally. a lot of stuff. There's like the speed runs skip. out there so far, um, pretty, like pretty nuts, pretty nutty, and they only do like I don't know, look like twelve bosses or something like that. For these guys to like. Stop. We are putting on PC right now. The game, this game has three endings. You're wrong, my dude. There's four. There's four endings. Which makes it tough when you didn't permanently do like some saves. There's like three major endings, and then one ending that's like a variation on the other ending. Uh, but requires you to do a lot of different things. Stuff. Yeah, there's there's two that require you to do specific things, Jeez, and then two that are just tied to a decision. Ah, this is bad. Is that correct? Right. What, uh, two two of the four endings are decided by a decision. Sure. Right, yes. and then the other two you actually have to do things to trigger it. Like yeah. you need to do specific steps to trigger. Them. Yes. I get unseen aid all the time. Well, then you're GD lucky because it's a thirty percent chance unless you have that's with no dragon rot. So. Although I have had it where I've had really low unseen uh, aid and it just happened, so I, I don't yeah. Know. 
anything's technically possible, of course. I'm gonna give this guy another shot. See if I, can do him. I think you can do him. I uh, am also. Uh, I'm but I don't I'm want gonna... you to have to sacrifice the charm thing. I am curious. Oh, I'll like, sacrifice it at the end of the stream because I'm curious as well. Like, I'm um, just curious if, like, the whole block damage thing goes away. Sure. And the whole, like, this insane amount of damage. Like, those guys are just normal enemies. Normal and they're doing 30%-ish. They're doing per boss swing. level, like, damage, too. Yeah. yeah. Is this better than Neo? Um. They're different. Uh, I liked Neo. I thought that I thought Neo was a little bit long for me though. Like in terms yeah, of like all the story, really it's long super long. That game is like a sixty to eighty hour first playthrough kind of game. I think this is which a, is nutty. A more reasonable length. Um, yeah, I, I think so too. But I mean, if you really want all that, then yeah, definitely yeah, yeah. play Neo. Like There's gonna be a Neo two. It must have been good enough for them to make a Neo two, right? So yeah, yeah, they it seems like it sold pretty well. With Geralt of Rivia, no yep. just kidding. Billy <laughs> Samurai. Can you get the Demon Bell? I think since he has it, he probably can't get another one. But I'm gonna try it. Dude, should you, uh, what I mean, if you did Demon Bell on top of this? I'm, that's what I'm gonna try. I wanna know. Alright, so this has become like a test stream. Oh my god, yeah, the basically. damage. Whew. Oh, hello. Oh, hello Hi. there. Hi, we're What's not up, done sir? with it. Yep. Oh, oh yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. Oh, I should use the blood pot. Eh, they're probably too far. Neo was pretty grindy. Because, like, Neo, like, levels, like, they kind of gated you in some ways. Like, you could outskill certain areas, but you de it definitely was easier if you had more. That was like a lot of side missions. That, that was, like, way more RPG ish. Earlier, oh, yeah, that's true. Areas. Yeah. Man, eh, like, I was not super into that because I was like, oh, okay, this is kind of the same. I did like being enemies. able to do fashion souls, though. Yeah. This is the one thing I, I'm sad about Sekiro is that you can't do any fashion. Yeah, no, no fashion. And you're mainly, like, the only thing that changes really. Um, is the skills and your prosthetics, but you're using a sword almost like the entire time. It's one of those guys that's like, I'm gonna just backstep the whole uh, way so you can't get me. Someone, someone's here, right? Mm. <laughs> Come on, man. Turn I around. sense danger. Turn around, man. What's up? What's wrong? Why aren't you turning around? I know you want to. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, nope. <laughs> immediately saw me. That's okay. If I can just get him over here, I just don't want the other guy to. Do you get Unseen 8 in New Game Plus? I think so. Oh, Didn't yeah. Didn't you get it just now? Yeah, I'm pretty yeah, sure you did. It. Yeah, 15%. Because you died once, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I think the sculptor already has Dragon Raw or whatever. <laughs> He's, he can live through it. He's fine. He's, that guy's a tank. Come on, man. Come on. This guy's. You, see? Anti Hero saying the same thing. Uh, F. I've been choosing to die because I thought reviving would give you more Dragon Rod. No, so apparently it's just the hard death. So that's actually speeding it up, if anything, by not resurrecting. It is. It's and it worse. so that's actually pretty funny. Uh, I don't know. If, I wonder if that's in our. Um, this guy is like not letting me. You in. just gotta parry him. But he's like, he doesn't even want to attack me. You gotta bait him. Come on, man. Come on. You wanna have a cool sword fight? I can then fight this guy. Look at that area over there. Yeah. I love when you go back through a game and you see like, yep, oh, I know that area. That area sucks. Whoa! <laughs> Hello there! Uh, I thought I, I was found you. What up? Alright. Come on, come on. Alright, we'll give him a sec. You yeah. stealth mini bosses uh, twice or only once? Only once. If you go back into stealth, they get all their life back. So that's to prevent you from just cheesing it. Otherwise, I would. I would totally cheese it. All right, where is he? Uh, do I beat this game a third time, John Link? I really don't want to. Dude, don't. I really want that take other a, ending, though. Break, though. I really want that other Let's ending. Take a break. An apex break. Come back to break? It later. Yeah. Nah. I gotta do it while it's fresh, and the memories there, my muscle memories there. Go? Maybe I new game plus oh, it though. Is. I don't know. Are there so new now? enemies slash count of them or bosses in new game plus? Don't know. We I just literally started. Seen... Everything has been the same. Yeah, no, so far. no changes in enemy placement or anything like that. Although enemies seem smarter. <laughs> oh jeez. This guy's pretty smart. Oh. Yeah, this guy got me multiple up. times view wise. Come on. I'm not doing this without that free hit. Mr. Big Brother 95 says, basically always reg and res and then get the F out or get good. Yep, it's true. Not, uh, not too far in the game, so Butterfly. Yeah, Butterfly is, uh, is she's tough, and she's one of the kind of first bosses yeah, you, tough. two bosses you experience, I think, if you go that path. Uh, I went the other way, 
which I think I put myself in a way tougher hole. Um, I would tell, I would, I would say, not that you have to do this because like it's open and you can go whichever way you want. But I think after you kind of open up some of the castle, you're probably better off going to Harada because I think difficulty there is pretty moderate and you get a lot of prosthetics there and you'll get some, you know, nice upgrades and things like that uh, before kind of finalizing the castle. Whereas for me, I kind of like finalized the castle and. All right, I went and finished the castle first because I was like, cool, I'm going to finish, like, one area first and then come back to it, uh, come back to Harada, and, like, yeah, that was a mistake because, basically, I fought another boss, and I feel like he's harder than Butterfly, but whatever. Anyone else play Firestorm or only on the stream yesterday? Only on the stream yesterday, Crime. Um, I'm sure Dave Jewett would be playing a bunch more Firestorm if he wasn't sick. He's, like, super sick right now. Dude, I watched uh, Dave's... Firestorm gameplay and oh my god he he is a sick gamer. Like, oh yeah, like really, really good. Uh, <gasps> Jesus, you can't. You. Okay, so the, is that a new move? I don't remember. The that. uppercut. I can't remember if he did the uppercut. Chat, do you remember if General Tenzin did that uppercut? Ooh. Dude, it doesn't matter what he does, man. I'm gonna. No, you gotta believe. Oh. All right, I, I like I that you curious. tried. I like that. Oh, did you try? Because no. it looked like you tried. No, I tried to dodge. It's okay. I didn't do that very well. What? Sure you can, dude. Did he have this upward slash? I cannot remember, to be honest. It's been so long. <laughs> dude, this is, uh, this is rough. Should I go get the demon bell? I don't want to, like, just hammer my head on this guy. Let's make it tougher. Uh, I was going to say, do you really want to get the demon bell and make it harder on yeah, yourself? I kind of want to know. Okay. I want to know for science, man. I want to know how tough this game could be. Oh, dude, can you imagine fighting the Headless with this, uh, this debuff I have right now? No way. All right, let's do it. Let's ring this bell. Ring that bell. All right, if you guys didn't know, we're heading to a sort of secret area. Oh, you think the headless is there? Probably, right? Oh, he Gotta is. Be. But what I, do you think he? Uh, I was gonna say, like fighting him with this debuff. No way, man. Are you kidding? That'd be brutal. You have divine confetti. That would be. All right, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't no, do it. I'm not gonna do that. You think he's down there? Ah, uh, oh, the yeah, old he's butthole there. snatcher. Oh, he's down there. He has a thing for buttholes. Up, that guy. Come on, show up right behind him. <laughs> uh, I'm at a castle. I'm stuck at the Raging Bull. Yeah, so Big Grand, oh, yeah, pro tip, Raging use Bull. them firecrackers on him. He hates the firecrackers. Like, hates it. If you didn't get the firecrackers yet, uh, you are you probably passed Gyobu because you're in the castle. So just go to the um, the vendor that's right past Gyobu, and you'll uh, get yourself a... Well, that's interesting. How'd you get that kill? Oh, uh, those guys, you can just jump and do an uh, instant kill on them. I did not know that. In fact. Wow. Okay. All right. Seven Gates of Hell says the difficulty of this game is epic. Yeah, well, Dude, we found a way to make so it harder. So, here's, here's a question. Could, do you think speedrunners could use this bell to somehow, like, They don't even know. But remember when we were watching speedrun yesterday? They just skipped Sempo completely. That's true. You probably don't even need Sempo. They just I guess it Sempo depends completely. on what kind of run you're doing. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. if you're doing an all-boss run, maybe this is somehow useful? I don't know, though. Like, uh... Hard to say. Anyway, let's bring like that demon bell. Like an all-memory one? <laughs> <laughs> I think you can beat him with the confetti. Yeah, I just don't know how much damage he does. That's the thing. Are you... What? Is it already on? Nope. Sinister burden. It doesn't give you an extra icon? <laughs> maybe not. Damn. Uh, Demon Bell. Uh, strengthen enemies around them. Yeah. Yeah, no, I have no, it. No, you have it now. Oh. Cool. All right, man, let's do it. Double whammy. What, do what? You're going to fight the Headless? No. <laughs> oh, okay. You can't open that door. Oh, yeah, you can't. But if I could. Are you just going to go back? Why don't you just use the idol? Oh. Okay, you're right. <laughs> That's why I was like, wait, you're going to go fight him? Do you get unlimited firecrackers? I mean, you have as much as you have spirit I mean, emblems, stuff. and you have ways to increase your spirit emblem per 
um, skill tree. The other pro tip, I think, I'll just give credit to you, is body, I think, is you just buy them early on because they only cost like 10 gold, 10 gold. per. Yeah, so like, cent. you know, if you're about to fight a boss or some guy that you know you're going to struggle with and you have a bunch of gold, either buy money bags or just buy a bunch of spirit emblems, then you have them like for the rest of the game. The They're also just pretty Mind useful to have. Oh, you're, this is weird. Because it's English. Yeah. However, my master gave it to assist you. I'm not telling you to trust me. This is However, so weird. The gourd of medicine that was originally... I am a doctor. Yes, but it seems he entrusted it to you. I'm sure you may have the medicinal water even after. Yes. Is there a way to improve it? Bring me gourd seeds? Yes, medicinal water. Adding new seeds if you find anything. All right. Nope, can't upgrade it further. Like what is it? Please. What? This white mark. No. Then. Or perhaps. Are you done? Yes, I'm. Goodbye. All right. Let's do, uh, you know what, we'll, we'll, do, we'll do the estate. That's a good way to test out how brutal this is. Oh, you're going to go Harada? Yeah. Nice. I think that's a good area. I think that's it. Like, yeah, actually, yeah, that's a good call. That's a good that area a good to call, like, like, to kind of, yeah, yeah, yeah. Try what to fight that other guy. It's not going to be. John Monahan asking, what debuff are you referring to? So in New Game Plus, once you get to Kuro, Kuro gives you a charm. You can then decide to keep the charm or give it back to him. If you give it back to him, it seems like you turn on a like super hard mode or it feels like it turns on a super hard mode where, well, it's hard for me to say that for sure because we haven't tried it without the charm because it's it's a thing that you it's do. It's on this new game plus, we're not sure. Yeah, you do get to turn off, but if you turn it off, you can't turn it back on. And so we're trying to play with it as much as we can before turning it off to see what the effects are. So far we know that, or feels like, Damage enemy or en enemy damage is way higher than normal. Like uh, the warlord slash, in one case was one shotting, or doing like seventy five percent. The other thing that's interesting is, and we don't know if this is a new game plus mechanic or the lack of charm mechanic, is that if you don't deflect an attack properly and you only block it, you actually take damage still, just not as much damage, which yeah. never happened in non new game. So I'm not sure if that's the debuff. That from the lack of the charm from Kuro, or if it's just New Game Plus. My guess is it's the debuff. Now we've turned on the Demon Bell on top of the supposed debuff by not having Kuro's charm. Yep. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Also, can't tell, again, if it's the debuff or not, but some of the enemies seem to have like way more posture and seem a little bit smarter. Does that yeah. seem fair? Yeah, I'd say they, they're, they're definitely more reserved. Like, like the one hat guy that you're the one kind of like samurai guy that you fight that has a hat. Usually after two swings, he likes to rebuttal with a swing, at least from what I know pattern wise. Um, in this case, John Luke has attacked him four or five times and he blocked all of them. And it like did like 20% posture at best off four swings. And that guy would normally probably lose posture by four hits in, in a normal game. So um, as mentioned, yes, crime has, has said to Ramsey, but yes, the hope is that the review proper is today is is what i th i believe i heard uh cynical saying i playing now this game is no joke yeah it's it's definitely tough yeah for sure all right let's uh talk to that dude yeah let's see. Yeah. There we go. So if you guys didn't know about this vendor at Harada, there's a guy in a little pot. He uh, will take treasure carp scales from you yep. and sell you stuff. He has a couple good things. Uh, he's got the um, burn gourd or the anti-burn gourd. <laughs> His oh. voice. Sounds like a Pegasus. <laughs> You, Kaiba boy. <laughs> uh, oh, so you had the withering gourd already. Yeah, so it keeps okay. all the stuff I already got. Um, I can get this floating. Oh, you rich, text. but I know why you're rich. Oh, it's because yeah, I saved. <laughs> so didn't... there's a second guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did not know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't. 
Oh, I didn't show you where that guy was. I didn't know. I don't. I, I gotta learn more about the full dragon mask because, like I said, I think you can gain power uh, by paying with your like experience, I think, instead of your memories. No! Come on! All right. I'm so sorry, headphone users. I would ex I should expect firecrackers to be that loud. Maybe. Uh, do you keep everything in New Game Plus? Yes. Yep. It seems like you keep everything. Like everything. Everything. Skills. Even the prayer beads. So that's potentially a reason why I'm excited for New Game Plus is it's very difficult. If not, maybe impossible, I don't know, to get all the skills your first time through. That's without, true. Like, grinding. For, from an experience perspective, yeah. Yeah, I mean, especially because you're, you're just not very good, so you're not going to get yeah. as much experience. I also... But uh, if you can carry them over, it seems yeah. like you have a better chance of like actually getting all the skills. I'm also curious, uh, as I was telling you before, I wonder if some of the later game prosthetics in the skill tree that you can upgrade mm -hmm. are tied to items that you can only get in New Game Plus. Yes. I say that because, like, for Never example, the whistle... It needs like a ring, like a specific ring item that is part of the upgrade tree. And I did not find that item my first playthrough and even my second playthrough, unless I missed it, which is very possible. Um, I think that would be cool if there's like some later game stuff that you would have to play New Game Plus to get, but I don't know. The ability from the fish hand is pretty cool. It's like a crazy combo slash. I've never actually tried it. Uh, we could look at it. It's like an air combo or something. So. Oh, there are five. There's five? Apparently there's five. Oh, no. Where is that one from? The fourth one. Temple Arts? Yeah, where the hell is that from? I've had I never though. had I never had the Sempo arts. No wonder Tamora was talking about oh, it. Oh, I know I've had Sempo arts, which is the one I didn't have before. Oh, God! The more you know. I went through the oh. first game without the Ashina text. Uh, hmm. Anyway, I should buy some stuff. Uh, ooh, I want to try that. That sounds cool. So Mother F! Floating Passage. That's the one I just got. Oh, I need Sempo. Oh! Dude, you know what this is? I think this is the move that uh, yeah. uh, Genichiro can do. Uh, so that and then... Okay. What the yeah, hell? Yeah, How much it's, have you it's, it's his move. Oh, it's totally his, uh, his boss move. That's actually really cool. How much you really dude? There's so much stuff you could miss, like really easily. Yeah, like, yeah. Like I okay. Did, I did was it the green it. monk guy that I'd never seen? You never it, saw the green monk guy, and that's because you did a boss before a that. Before that, and I did it after. I did it after. Okay, so, so like, did he give you the text? He gave me a text to give to the to the girl. To the, okay, that's the holy chapter infested. So he, yes. you didn't get the you didn't get the arts from him though. You no. didn't get this text from him. No, Do you no. remember where you got the text from? Oh, 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 the, uh, the Senpo text? Yeah, 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 that's in the temple. Uh, that's in a little power, um... I gotta get that. I know where that is. I, I told you. Oh, dude. No. Right, I gotta try this, uh... Um, so, so far, the demon bells. I haven't God. <laughs> How did I make it through the whole game without a whole set of skills? I'm a, tr I'm trash. Literal trash chat. That is not building like any posture no. despite five swings. That did not, that did nothing for me. 
Which one's better, Sekiro or Ghost of Tsushima? Well, you know, one game's not even out, so... Uh, how would you like me to judge that one? Uh, I can't notice too much of a difference with the Demon Bell. Um, granted... Yeah, I, uh... Vaki was saying how he felt like it didn't make the... the while the other enemies are... The normal enemies are technically harder, he said it didn't feel like it was that much of a difference. It yeah, compared to the bosses. The right? bosses is where the, the demon bell really makes a difference. Oh, oh. my controller, um... Stopped working for a sec. Hold on. <laughs> That's not my fault. That was the controller. <laughs> You, it could have been your fault because you could have nudged it out of the uh, US. Anyway. It's not my in-game fault. It's in a pagoda on the top of... Gosh yeah. darn it. Yeah, it's the very... You know that little cave you went through where you were like, hey, that one guy, what yeah, did yeah, you do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you keep going up that cave, there's a little... You can go up? Yeah, you can, yeah there's a little area above it. It's, hey, you know what? It's okay, chat. He didn't know about the first merchant. It's true, I didn't. <laughs> so, <laughs> there's that. <laughs> At least I have that. Um... Yeah, uh, Marco, just make sure if you use the snake stuff, use it uh, before you get to a certain point at the end because I got to the end before knowing about that stuff and then I couldn't trigger so what that, I need to anymore. So that triggers one of the... Oh, it's secret endings, yeah. yeah. You get an option for the ending. Yeah, that, that's what triggers it and you have to do it. You should do it a little bit earlier when you can. You I can. bet Ghost of Shishima came out and Eric skipped it. All right, yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyone know where the text is that you get? Yeah, Marco, uh, do you have the Mibu breathing technique yet? If you don't, you need that to get it. Uh, it's it's either one of two things. You either got it from the oh, he was hello. blocking with nothing that whole time. You know that. Um, you either got it from the the monk ish guy that I was talking about in a green garb, or if you didn't talk to him like I didn't in two playthroughs, uh, it's in the water in Sempo. But you need Mibu breathing technology, or I, I don't know why I call it the technology technique, uh, to be able to do it. So I can tell you where it is though. It's pretty straightforward. That doesn't work anymore in this mode. No, <laughs> no, your your spam block. The spam uh, block is no work. good. Your no spam good block anymore. is no good here. That was the tip Vati gave. Was like, by the way, you can totally do this, and it's like, not in this, not with this. Yeah, not with this one. You gotta be careful. Yeah, Marco. I like I said, if you can die for it, I can tell you where it is. But if you can't die for it yet, then you need to do something to get that. Oh, you do have it. Okay, it's um, crap. I'd have to look at the. Uh, the list of the um, travel idols, but it's um, I think it's like one before the inner sanctum, and then it's like down a hill and in a pond, like right below it, right below the um, idol that I'm talking about. It's not like like literally right below, but it's like like south of the idol. Oh come on! You just get the drunk guy. These guys are now. drunk off sake. Oh, there's four of them now. Trying to Yikes! Yikes! Hello there, everyone. How's it going? Who is this monk dude? Um, he's like, you you would either have saw him because it's very noticeable if you saw him. Because I right when I saw it on John Luke's I was like, who the hell is that? And he's like, oh, I've been talking to this guy this whole time. I'm like, oh, sick! I don't, I've not seen this guy twice. But like you said, do you know which boss it is that I killed? That it's um, uh, Genichiro. Ah, so that's what triggered it. Okay. All right. So if you if you uh, that's so weird though. Why you, though? Why? Like why fall. is that the case though? Is there a reason? My guess is because uh, it triggers like another state or something. Well, it's because after you beat him and you talk to Kuro, you get like your next objective. Yeah. Which is to go there, and I think that's what triggers the difference. Because um. Tamor also beat him and then went there and he met the guy, but I think it's because he didn't talk to Kuro. Or uh, something. I think. I'd yeah, 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 yeah. He didn't. He definitely check. didn't because he was like, I don't want to make this decision. I was like, dude, they force you to make the decision. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. I think, like, talking to Kuro and getting those objectives is what triggers that difference because that's when you would need to go. I think it's. I think the idea is that they didn't want you oh, to go there and do that before you, like, got the task yeah. to do it. So they just gave you that. Sorry, Marco. Not Inner Sanctum. The, uh, whatever the, uh, one with the great, the big Buddha is, like, look for what the... the? <laughs> he throws oil? Uh, look for the one idol that's above that one. I can't remember the names. If you tell, if you list to me the idols that are in Senpo, like, in the middle part of it, I can tell you which one it exactly is. I just can't remember off the top of my head the exact naming of it. 
Oh man, this fire is so warm. Sake is so good. Ah, shoot. <laughs> he tanked it for him. <gasps> the trade, the bad trades. Yeah, this this spot can definitely take a minute if you want to stealth it. Too many doggos and people, yeah. Mm -hmm. Gets wrecked. Yeah, you could also Google it, Marco. <laughs> Would be maybe faster than me telling uh, you. This is just be careful of spoilers. Shigendo, is. not Shigendo. Yeah, they just replaced it with like this fistful of ash. Uh, Here, let me just look up a list of things so... and I'll tell you. I don't know, yeah, so far the Demon Bell hasn't been making things too much harder. It's whatever we turned on the first time, right? Yeah, like that's really like the, the tough thing, I feel like. I'm sure it'll make the boss tough though, I bet it will. Let's go. They killed us all. Mom, dude, what's up? Oh, he tried to kick some sand in my face. Yeah. I've never seen him do that before. They try to blind you. It's. It might be Temple Grounds Idol. Let me see. Okay. Man, how do people have this guy? I don't have this guy. <laughs> Stupid green guy. I'm gonna, <laughs> gonna, I'm gonna find you in my next playthrough, green guy. Uh, yeah, I think it's um, uh, Senpo Esoteric Text. Son of a garbage. All right, I'm gonna get that too. I'm gonna find that, that one too. Strike? I know. That's why Tamora was like so hype. He's like, dude, this Senpo stuff sick. And I was like, oh, you talking about the enemies? They're they're pretty cool. And it's like, uh, no, uh, he was no. talking about actually being able to. <sighs> yeah, I got a little uh, Buddha statue. Instead of where the uh, axes, yeah. So so far, it just seems like they replace uh, all of like where the items normally are with like just like random stuff. Hey, what up? Boink. Yeah, that just like mess me up. Is the gigantic snake happening? A little bit. When is the gigantic snake coming up? Uh, we technically just were in that area, but. We're just messing around with um, the demon bell with yeah, the other. They're, they're doing the I think I think for sure the Kuro charm thing is like worse than way the worse bell. than the, the, the bell. Case. Yep. Um, other than the, and if that's the case, then maybe just put the bell on. Yeah, like you extra, said, like get the you, extra you, you just try, you just turn the bell on for like when you're clearing mobs and trash, and then, and you, then you, you just turn it off, turn it off for the boss. Bosses, yeah. Crime says Resident Evil 2, DMC 5, Sekiro, what year is this? I don't know, the the one year with um Breath of the Wild, that was a crazy year too. Oh, yeah. I think, right? It was. Oh, that guy's gonna suck. Yeah. Okay, I wanna try something. I'll try it. Oh, what? <laughs> he uh, doesn't that care. Doesn't, that doesn't seem that useful. He doesn't care. Nothing is better so far for me than, uh, well, because I haven't used all the skills, but the, the, the Ichimon strike or whatever is like it's the best good, one. It, it your posture back yeah, up. you get posture back. They get more posture damage to them. Like, I don't know. It seems yeah, really good. I mean, so... So, so apparently I, I just I got Rush. this one. I got the Ichiban double. So it's yeah, like yeah, yeah. It's just part of it. Of I've never done Shadow Rush. Shadow Rush is cool. Um, it goes like through, right, or something. Yeah, and then you you can use your spirit to do like a follow up. Um, I could 
Uh, John Anthony, John Monahan. If you want to make the guys with the the hats, which annoy the shit out of me, easier, you get this axe, and they are a joke. Yep. You literally yeah. smash through their hat and get a follow up, and it's easy as that. I did not have the axe when I fought them the first time, and boy was it a pain in the butt. A lot of the enemies usually have a weakness to a uh, prosthetic, unless it's like this guy who doesn't matter. Like he's just weak to everything. Uh, yes, Mr. Big Brother, I think... Oh, do you have to ring the bell each time to, to activate it? No. Or do you just turn it on from the demon bell? I know the that you bell? disable I know you disable it. You can disable with it. I don't know if you have to... Do you to, have to ring the bell each time? I don't know if you have... To, yeah, you might have to go back to Okay, it. well, I mean, it's not that bad because there's an like, idol there. So you just... Yeah, you could just, you just quickly fast travel. You just fast travel yeah. to it. Um, let me put my... You can even set it as, like, your homeward bound so or this something. This one's really going. Oh, the Sempo Arts. Yeah. Ooh, all right, here's going to be a good challenge. Oh, the spear guy? Spear boy? Spear boy. Well, you got to kill all his buddies first, right? Yeah, you really do. He wrecked me twice on stream because I, I kept m not being able to Mercury. I, I can't do it to save my life. So instead, I just circle dodged a lot of his like perilous attacks and then got my hits in. His posture, well, at least in normal, is pretty shitty, though. So yeah, it's pretty it, easy to it, get the through problem it. Is, like, maybe not in this you mode. You could one shot. You could get one shot in I this mode. You could get one shot. I'm not very excited about that. I am, because I'm not playing. <laughs> this is what I did. I did it to myself. All right, guys, come on. Yeah, okay, so yeah, probably have to fast travel for the bell, but yeah. <sighs> yeah. Um, I'll beat this guy, and then I'm going to go turn the, um, I'm going to go turn it off. And okay, see, sounds and good. I, we I wanna, have about. I want to see the difference. Yeah, then you can go fight the warlord guy. Yeah, I want to see I wanna, if see if his uppercut slash exists. See if it like does well, like as much damage. The uppercut slash is a, maybe a new game plus thing. That's my guess. Okay, so you think maybe just like one extra like move set to kind of throw you off, They'll, throw them off their scent. That's how Dark Souls would work. They'll like add an extra move set or something. What? Else? Uh, oh, he what was that? Nice nah, you saw nothing. Okay. Oh wait, there's another hat guy. There's a big hat guy. What's a what's a big hat guy with blades at the temple? Wait, there's another. There's other guys with hats. Uh, they're talking about the spinning dudes. Oh, uh, then no, John, don't use that on that guy. Talk about the drill guy. That guy sucks. <laughs> I hate him. Suck. If it was just one of them, it's not bad. But they're always in pairs. Yeah. I don't know why. Sorry. You just stealth them. That's I don't the think the hat's gonna help you on that's that. I thought you were talking about small hat guys. Um, to be honest, those guys I either singled out somehow or like I avoided them because I just never wanted to deal with them. They're super annoying. I apologize. That's I, I'm forgot those guys had hats. <laughs> there are other guys with hats later, but they're very like they're different. You would have like said something to help me distinguish. Come on. We have to go to the bridge. Yeah, sometimes it, the usually best way to that do is just to run away. was enough. You Basically, just, you just want to see their name go away and then yeah, you kind of like reset. Yeah, usually that's Maybe you can't reset as easily in new game. I don't even know. Cause like by now he would have stopped for me. Oh uh, yeah, he would. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I got it. What? Oh, it's just sometimes the game does that. <laughs> just... Oh, sneaky, sneaky. Okay, moment of truth. Here's the free one. How did you like it, Shinobi Hunter Inshin of Misen? Did you try? No. Okay. Again, I'm just not very good. I'm not good at Makiri counting either. Yeah, see, that's what I did to them too. I just step dodged and yeah. Nope. It's tough though. No. Oh, he's doing a lot of damage. <laughs> yeah. The 75%er. Oh, that was a sweep. I messed up. I was, looking for the, I was looking for the... Yeah, the little stabby. Oh, damn. This guy sucks though. I'm nah, that's all right. It's I'm okay. Kiri counter, man. I'm, I'm not good at Kiri counter. That's why. That's why I think my if I when, if and when I decide to go through it again, I will definitely be forcing myself to Kiri counter. There we go. I did it once at least. I think I do it too early, and I always get punished. Yeah, that's definitely part of it. Cause it's when the the strike is supposed to land, and I always am trying to preemptive. Also, it doesn't help that like the game kind of like got me into like the shitty deflecting habit. 
You're at a gourd, so you gotta pellet it. You're gonna... See, this is what sucks, though. Now you gotta rebuild all that posture. That... <laughs> Any beginner tips for a new guy? Oh, there's a bunch. We have a, a beginner's tips video, Adrian. Um, oh, so check shit. that out. I would also say, um, you know, part of it's just learning the game, like being able to persevere. Like you'll get better over time. That's what happens in these kind of games. Like <sighs> get that rewarding experience. Tough. Get stabbed. All right. Do we want to, for the purposes of yeah, the sure. Test, let's let's remove our. We're gonna remove the suffering that we were and trying we'll, to endure this wanna, last hour the, and twenty I see minutes. The difference now. So. And you're still recording, right? So at least we'll have it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, so let's get rid of the demon bell. So that's gone. And let's travel to the temple. Oh, you're going to turn off the bell, too? I turn off the bell, too. Okay. Um, oh, you're dilapidated. Sorry. The dilapidated temple. All right, sculptor, give me, give us the good stuff. Give us the charm. Oh, dragon rot. So weird hearing English. <laughs> oh, uh, avoid hardships. I held on to this charm of yours at the request of that meddling young woman. Ah, it's I so weird. It, your master I used to it. you with this. Why don't you? The path before you may be filled <laughs> with suffering. Uh, take his charm back. Uh, and avoid the path of additional hardship. Yes, I'll take it. I'm a scrub. Yes, that's a good <laughs> I need if it. You wish for you can oh. choose to bear that burden. The oh. Next opportunity oh, is that new game? By. Another new game? That must be what it is. Cuz uh it said it was you couldn't go back on it. Can you speed run the game? People have been speed running it for sure, Bob. I want to try and speed run it sometime. All right, let's rest up. Let's go fight that warlord and that maybe will be where we end the stream unless you want to kill the spear guy for some reason. <laughs> Go to that warlord. Outskirts. Right. Stairway. To heaven. See, you should have got that other uh, thingy. You right underneath. The little snake idol. Ah. The one right before it. That's true. All right. Let's see how. How much this changes yeah. it now that I All right. have I want to I want to test the blocking theory later. I guess you could test that on anyone really cuz you're going to have to yeah. clear this place out. So All right, we are no longer uh suffering or want to suffer. Oh, what a hacker. You still take a lot of damage. Dude, you still you take a crap load. That was 50%. That's definitely a new game. Okay, his posture is back to normal. Oh boy. Yikaroos. Hello. What's up? Okay, so the damage is high regardless. Yeah, that it looks just like. seems like that's gonna be uh, uh, problematic. But that, no what. yeah. Okay. I'm sure it can finish him off. Vaxi gamer here. That's what I'm here for. Uh, Greaseman says, "How do people enjoy this type of game? Do you like being punished or some or or what? Uh, yeah, you gotta have a look. As Tamora told me a long time ago, you have to have the right mindset to play these kind of games and oh, they'll want to sure. endure. So like, you either like these kind of games or you don't, right? Like, I think Bloodborne was the closest to finding a middle ground to some some degree, but still very hard game. So okay, their posture is way, way less. Reduced. Yeah, so yeah. I think that's part of it." Yeah, 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 it's like back so. To okay, the wall. so damage. So it seems like damage. Oh, can you test the blocking later? Oh, when it's oh, safer. Sure, sure, when it's safer. Okay, no damage on block. So it looks like damage on block, and then their posture is higher. Yes. Damage looks to be similar. similar I'll have to test it on the warlord. Uh, terrible. <laughs> yeah. Damn, that guy gushed blood. 
Yeah, that guy's posture way back to normal. Um, yeah, yeah, so posture it seems to be the big difference, and then also the damage on block. Where did the other dude go? Will there be a proper YouTube oh. review? Yeah, there's going to be a proper Hello. YouTube review. What's up, dude? So, uh, know what I'm saying? I don't know if you've been following the channel uh, or not, either on YouTube or on GameSpot.com, but we've kind of changed the review format. Um, you know I'm going to pop that up. Uh, sure. Uh, so now our, like, we have something oh, on the site. Oh, no, it no that didn't one damage. shot. Okay. No, no, no. So, so damage less damage for bosses. Less damage for sure. Still still pretty rough. Yeah, but manage gives, gives you a chance, though. Gives you a chance. Yeah. But that uppercut swing is definitely there. Um, yeah. So it might be potentially new moves. That might be just a plus thing, which that's yeah. Oh! Was that the uppercut? Because yeah, that, that did a crap load more that it, time. It one shot me, though, the other Yeah, time. yeah, it's true. So I think it's still just going to be real brutal. Come on, man. The, uh, Grease Man says he enjoys difficulty, uh, difficult games rather that require a certain amount of effort and strategy. But honestly, I wouldn't call this game difficult. It is cheap and infuriating. It's not cheap. I don't think every it's cheap. death that you experience in any of the Soulsborne games is your fault. There are always <laughs> answers. There are always things you could have done right, and it's all about timing. Now, the one thing in Sekiro with the deflecting stuff is you can kind of cheese it a little bit, and it's kind of but whatever. Anything, it's a little easier. But yeah, if any, like you said, to your point, it makes it gives. There's more room for forgiveness, but if you die, it's your fault. Um, I don't think anything is cheap because, like, if you fight a boss enough times, you learn the move sets, you learn the mechanics, you should be able to. You have all the tools in front of you to beat them, and that's part of also the reason why the games are are uh, so loved. I guess is because of the satisfaction that you gain from overcoming a challenge if you can overcome that challenge because. You do have those, like, you know, moments of just pure ah. exhilaration and bliss Bummer. after, yeah. you know, like, possibly, like, 30 minutes, hour or hours fighting bosses where you finally overcome that kind of, like, hurdle. Yeah, and then there we go. Okay. You get that exciting moment. Way right more there. manageable without uh, the, the additional burden. hardships. Yeah, the additional <laughs> hardships, yeah. Uh... Well, yeah, okay, so that seems to be... Yeah, so, sorry, back to, like, the new review format. It's more of, like, a conversation. Um, there are, like, talking points. Uh, we do a quick review for the site now that just has our pros and cons and a score, if that's what you're looking for. But if you're looking for a more in-depth, like, review to idea. more um, Hussein, who did our review for Sekiro, uh, we'll have a longer kind of, like, conversation. Um, do you think it's with... Is it with Adam? Or do you know who how that's going down? Yeah, we decided. It might be David. Oh, but he's sick. Oh, then it would be Adam. I yeah. Don't know. So, anyways, I think they were figuring that out. Yeah. So, anyways, tomorrow we'll have a, a longer discussion in terms of just like his thoughts on the game. Um, he'll they'll also ask a question. Like we'll we'll kind of throw out questions to or throw out a tweet to the uh, viewers, users, all those people to kind of ask questions that they might want to know um, from tomorrow's perspective. You know, about the game, about his experience, and things like that. Uh, yeah, Morning Star sort. Uh, that that guy is tough. He took John Luke about eight hours, and he took me like over six. So just keep trying it. Like that boss is just super tough. Um, yes, this is new game plus, John Rogers. Yeah, Big Grand Two K says it's always my fault. The game holds the players accountable, and it also doesn't hold your hand. It's true. I always looked back because I wanted to see him being pissed and angry, I, I but, I've before, hit, but I've gotten hit. I've gotten hit because of it, though. Yeah. Oh, did I and uh, fun fact for everyone out there watching, I didn't know that you could hide in that little um, I don't know, what is that thing, like the little cubby hole thing uh, that you know emperors and people get carried around in, uh, and then you get a cool little cinematic mo er, little moment with the snake uh, that I didn't experience actually. Oh, I didn't even gone this way. I didn't go around. I just waited for him to peace out, and I should have booked it to the this side here. I got super lucky because the uh, last time I was with Ben on stream, like, he had the red hit marker on me, and then, like, he decided to, like, let me go. Jason Brown asking, how long did it com take for you to complete the game? Um, uh, for John Luke, he went over most of it with a pretty fine co comb tooth. Fine tooth comb. Fine God dang it. He, <laughs> he, he took 
his time to make sure he saw most of everything. Now, I forced him to go to New Game Plus today. Well, didn't force, but he was willing to go to New Game Plus today. There was a couple things he could have still did, actually, at the end of the game. So, he was over 40 hours. Um, and if he did some of that other stuff I was just mentioning, he'd probably get another hour, maybe two out of it, depending on how much left I don't know that he had. So, over 40 hours for him. For me, I played it twice. One playthrough was super quick. It was like 20 hours, but I rushed through a lot of it. And Oh, it's a pe Palquin. Pel Palanquin. Um, and I got the short ending. So that was about 20 hours. The longer ending and my second playthrough where I knew more about what was going on, that took me about, I, th I think I'm at about 33 to 35 hours, but I'm still missing stuff. Like I didn't even get the Sempo text, which I'm going to go get after this stream because holy <laughs> shit, how do I not have that? Um, so yeah, I think it's like a 35 to 40 plus hour game. It, yeah. it, your mileage may vary because it depends on like how quick you're defeating bosses. You know, obviously, a lot of people are struggling on the Saint, as somebody had mentioned. But you also told me like you were watching Li Joe, who killed him in like 80 attempts. Well, I think he said 80. I don't know if it was 80 attempts for him or 80 attempts total. Okay, well, whatever that is, that's Either better way, than what I did. You know, that dude's so. Really good. <laughs> but like I said, this game lends its. Well, he's he's a, a Soulsborne player, but it does lend itself, I think, to a fighting game. Um, kind of aficionado. Yeah. That guy got top eight at Evo. Um, yeah, so I think you he know, got, like he probably got into Dark Souls because it has a lot of yeah. In this uh, game, I, I feel like even over. goes carries over more to like yeah. the whole like parrying hey, style up, and. Um, I was able to stealth this area the first time. Yeah. Uh, now. You're good. You're near idle too. Yeah. I, uh, I killed that I, big I, boy. I missed the idol the first time. Oh really? I died against the, the next boss I had to run through that From snake the snake area. area. Oh, I mean, that's the sucks. not there anymore, oh, okay. but it's more just like oh, this is just more super far. Yeah. Do. I messed that up. Uh, yeah, but I would say like as salty as I am about not getting yeah, like the tempo text or whatever, is that th that's the one of the things I love about the game is how you you miss things your first playthrough, oh. and that just gives you the motivation to kind of go through it again. Also, like going through it again is a lot of fun because I, I'll be honest, like when I first <laughs> played through Sekiro, I was not feeling it and everyone in the office was like oh I, I, you know like i'm having a great time you know like i don't i like the difficulty and all that i was just like ah man like i really just wanted this to be like a more bloodborne -y, even though like that's not fair like this is right. totally its own game and its own style and i'm glad that they're able to kind of like break away from what you traditionally know and kind of like do another twist another spin on on kind of the genre um but my second playthrough, because I knew more and I was better at the game, and I had I, I had more information and I knew where to get prosthetics and use prosthetics, it was a much um, more pleasant time. So it's always fun the the second time around, just to kind of go back, get what you missed, get another ending if you didn't get it. Um, mm -hmm. Like I I'm thinking about now playing it a third time or new game plusing just so I can get that other ending that we knew there was there's there had to be something. Right, like yeah. we found key items that were like, this has to be for something. There's no way it isn't. It's too, like, on the nose to not be something. And totally. um, unfortunately, right. I got too far into the game where I couldn't trigger it anymore. But like, I'm looking forward to you know doing that that ending as well. Okay, where's the big guy go? He's on the way over here. Yep, there he is. Hello. Usually he's crying, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God>. Bad <laughs> boy. <laughs> Yeah, it's different from the sense that from Bloodborne because you have to block and parry instead of dodge. You gotta learn all over again. Well, you also have the jumping mechanic and Makiri counter. There's so many. It's there's like so many ways you have to. Think so about the many. Game. Yeah, there's like a couple more elements to the fight that you actually have to worry about and think about that you didn't have to previous. Oh, do you have the loaded spear? No, I don't. I think oh. that's the one thing I did, I never found. Where do you find it? Uh, it is. I have it in my videos. I can't remember. It's either in the castle. I think it's in the castle somewhere. Oh, I only got three gourd seeds, but let's uh, get this. I wanted to see the effect. The old college um, Because here. apparently the loaded spear is supposed to be like the anti Gyobu. Well, apparently the fire crackers as well. This is so weird. I've never heard him say that in English. Wait, what did he, oh, he said oh. his name. He announced it. Yeah, that is kind of weird. So, also, a fun fact have you gotten like the two different death animations on him? Or is it always the same? It's the same. The, yeah, where the horse stares at you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's just one. Maybe I just didn't notice it the first time around. 
Also, fun fact is uh, you can you can lasso onto him, as you had saw there, folks, and that helps you kind of like you pull yourself towards him. You can technically kind of pull the uh, uh, chained ogre too, which kind of helps stagger him a little bit. Onekage, charge! Oh, that didn't work that time. Like mid -air. Good parries. Oh, he's almost ready for a little, a little uh, posh or a little death blow. Come on, my dude. Good blocks. Man, could you imagine if you still had the debuff on that attack? <laughs> That'd be a fun time, huh? There, I've only seen one NPC help. Did you ever have an NPC help you more than once? No, just that just only happened in Harada, right? That one time in Harada. Yeah. That's the only time I've seen it happen. No co-op, Jason, unfortunately, in this one. Which actually, I don't think it's unfortunate. I always judged people for the using <laughs> You're the co-op. I don't want. I mean, it. I get it. Like, I'm happy that it's there to help. Oh, uh, right. Ha to help players that are struggling with the boss, but. There's something about how it just breaks the AI when you have two people that it takes away from the, ex the true experience, in my opinion. Um, and that's very kind of elitist of me to say, but whatever. Um, it's who I am, I guess. <laughs> I live that life. But you know what I mean? Like, there's something about when you do beat the boss because, like, it's you and the boss, right? Which is what makes the game so great. But then when you have two people, it kind of, like, tethers to one person. And that's actually my um, concern with... Um, even though I don't want to call it anime Dark Souls, it's totally anime. But Code Vein, like I think your partner is supposed to be with you like that entire time. Yes. And so like I've seen boss fights, and I'm like, oh, it's just following your buddy. Like that takes away from my attention that I'm having with the boss, and I don't know how I feel about that. Show, dude, he sounds so weird. I can barely hear him. Yeah, yeah. The three guard seeds in a like pellet. The audio. I don't know if it's our... No problem. Anyway, yep, three guard seeds. <laughs> totally did it. Look at the horse, just like master. Aww, master. No, please don't do that. Aww. Aww. Are you okay? Why are you playing in English? Uh, I wanted to give it a shot. I played the whole game in Japanese the first yeah. time. So you do get memories again. I wonder if oh, I can. Oh yeah, see, okay, that makes attack. sense because. Like I said, the Dragon Mask, once you complete it, if you guys are trying to get the Dragon Mask, you can like use skill levels to bump your attack. And I don't know how much it lets you do Let's it or out. if it's like a one-time thing, but that's cool. So so memories only come from the Shinobi executions, which are like the harder enemies. Yeah, you totally get to do it. Okay, cool. That makes up for some of the okay. So yeah, you do, you do get to prayer beads maybe don't increase, but attack power continues. Cool. I wonder if it pops up twice in my... Uh, Items now. Um, oh, your memories? Yeah. Oh, be careful about those. <laughs> Maybe it doesn't matter. No. It, nah, uh, just, it, no it, oh, two. 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 Oh, okay. So, oh, that that can be a number held. You can have ninety nine. <laughs> oh, you know that's gonna be a point of pride. Like, look how many I've beaten this game. Ninety nine uh, plus. Times. Jesus. New game plus ninety nine. No thanks. Oh, that's definitely gonna be a thing people are gonna no do. No thanks. Ooh, I have seven beads. Or whatever. I think it's a good point to stop. Yeah, I think so too. I was gonna actually say like, are you good with stopping? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All uh, right, cool. So, fun facts about New Game Plus. Glad we actually tried it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, me too. It's cool to see that you can engage a like, I don't know, would you call it like a even harder mode? Because it's yeah. harder than the Demon Bell for sure. It's definitely harder than the Demon Bell. Um, yeah, just like a New Game Plus like challenge mode. Like New Game Plus already definitely makes it tougher. Yeah, damage is higher. Yeah. That seems very like. Fights are going to be longer because uh, their posture takes longer. Yep. And then you have to be perfect with those parries if you don't want to yep. do uh, damage. Block damage, yeah. yep. And then so it's, and then also, on top of the new game plus damage, there's, they have even more damage. So, like, that ability that the, the Warlord was using on you, the uppercut slash, like, yeah. one-shotted you, right? But then once you turn that off, it was, like, 70... Like, at the worst, it was, like, 75%. So at least you have chances to recover, whereas with that debuff, it looks very... Like, you're suffering. Right, yeah. so it makes sense. <laughs> um, so you can try that if you want. Uh, if you want, we're, we're not sure if you can re-engage it until New Game Plus again, or maybe you, you get to a I, point where you get another shot can, at it. Because it said you cannot back on this for this playthrough. Is what it's oh, gotcha. Okay, so when he says like you could do this again later, it's probably like your next playthrough. He probably meant like, your next playthrough. Okay, all right. It's so at least though, if you did trigger it with Kuro the first time, you do have one more out. You have an after. out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, which is so nice. They give you an out. It's like they're like, hey, do you want to experience this? Oh, you experienced this. Do you want to turn yeah. it off? It looks so. like they'll give you an out at any point. 
yeah. Assumably, but. And it does stack with the uh, demon buff or yep. the demon bell, it does. Uh, which didn't seem to add too much more. Too much. From I didn't try the, the demon bell against a big boss enemies. though. Yeah, cool. All right, so thank you guys for tuning in. We will be back tomorrow. I think the plan tentatively is to do Generation Zero. That game came out today. It was from cool. Avalanche. I don't know too much about it other than what Mike told me, which is like an 80s kind of like survival game that you could co-op one of four people. Cool, cool. Interesting. I think it's got Sweet. mechs. Um, so, yeah, come back. Thank you for tuning in to GameSpot Live. We're live 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, Monday to Friday. Uh, and, yeah, Community Fridays is Friday, yep. MK11 Beta. MK11 Beta. All right, cool. Anything else, John Luke? Am nope. I missing anything? Perfect. Go play Sekiro. Yeah. Later. See ya.